What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name is Tam, and today we're going to be going over Jeff's Jackie Briggs deck. This deck was an absolute blast to watch play. It's so simple, but it's got a really, really solid design. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into it. One. All right, so Jackie Briggs is a is a really really rad character for anybody who hasn't seen one of my deck profiles before the plan is simple we're not going to be taking and telling you each and every card that's inside of the deck no 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 we're going to take it we're going to give you the elevator pitch of how the deck works and all the cards that interact with the deck so uh what's the elevator pitch for jackie briggs jackie briggs does two things she draws three cards on my at the start of my opponent's turn to make sure that she can block things and sculpt her hands the way that she wants in addition to that she takes all of her text attacks and she makes them Massive. She makes them gives turns those extra cards she has in her hand into uh, additional five damage each. And so, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just jump into it. So this deck is a little nuanced. It's got a very simple, singular goal, and that goal is to uh, to to play some uh, play and loop some cards. So the first thing I want to talk about is the best card in her deck in Jackie's entire kit, Air Ground Smash. Air Ground Smash says that you get to draw three cards and then ready uh, something back up. It's a six high for six, six high for twelve. Whenever we discard a card off of Jackie, I'm sure we found an additional uh, card we'd we'd be down to get rid of. And so uh, this card we we want to play as many times as we can. And the way that we play that card as many times as we can is with this a secondary card, Getaway. Fire getaway fire uh, combos with a tech attack, which air ground smash certainly is. And it says, Combo add one attack attack from your card pool to your hand and then remove this card after you're done. So, the way that we play the game is we air ground smash, we draw three cards, we found one of these. I'll play the getaway fire, I'll take and put this card back in my hand. This thing gets removed from the game, I'll play the getaway fire again. Hopefully, whenever I draw my three more cards, I'll find another one. And so, we're just gonna turn one attack into three attacks with or two attacks into three attacks. And and one of those attacks being, uh, you know, draw three. So draw six seems pretty good on a turn. But I got to be honest, that is not actually how the deck wants to play. The deck doesn't want to play this interaction at all. What the deck wants to do, I'm going to fix this real quick. What the deck wants to do is actually play for Distraction Destruction. Yeah, you heard me right. Distraction Destruction is a card that says if my opponent has two or more momentum, um, they have to add two cards from their uh, staging area to their momentum. And then any hands, if my opponent has eight or more momentum, you win the game. So not only can Jackie kill you by just uh, tossing out big damage, um, if my opponent has two momentum by either me giving the momentum or them taking momentum themselves, I'll play the Distraction Destruction, I'll add two momentum in, I'll play Getaway Fire, we'll uh, add the Distraction Destruction back to our hand, this thing will get removed, and we'll play it again, they'll add another two. And so us looping this card, us looping this card, we're trying to find these Distraction Destruction uh, hands and just auto in the game. And if not, this thing is for 14 damage in Jackie. So we've got a 6 high for 12 and a 4 low for 14. Um, and then we've got 4 mid for 5. It's possible that with these big, beefy attacks, we just kill them. And with the first enhance of limiting what my opponent uh, is allowed to play in their staging area, just getting rid of all of those, it's possible we just kill them with damage before we kill them with the wither game. But all options are on the table. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take it, I'm going to go through and show you all of the amazing ways that I can give my opponent momentum in order to make my distraction destruction win the game work. So, the first and easiest, uh, first way, excuse me, and most offensive way to, to give the momentum is with Drossel. What Drossel says is desperation enhanced commit, so you got to be pretty low life. Add this attack to uh, their owner's momentum, only playable if they have at least one momentum. So, um, if we take and we add it in, they have one. Here's another one. Now my Distraction Destruction is live if they can't figure out a way to get rid of it. We're playing 3 Jolly Gloomy Enhanced Commit. Your opponent takes the top card of the deck and puts it into their momentum. Easy enough. We're playing for his Gift of Immortal Blood. Enhanced Commit. Take any card from my, from my opponent's discard pile and put it in their momentum. Easy enough. I, I toss both of these down. I'll commit and put one in. Commit, put one in. Well, now... Now on my first enhance is live. Same thing on unmet demands. Enhance destroy. Your opponent adds one into the momentum. So you're trading one for one. 
One save the sea rats enhance your turn flip if your opponent has at least one momentum. Um, they take one card from their hand and put it in the momentum. Easy. They're playing uh, two, my beautiful child. What this card says is uh, if they play a foundation, you toss it in the momentum by trading the foundation. And then we're playing four, Murderous Addiction. So this card is kind of doubled up with uh, with Draw Soul. It says Enhance, Destroy. Uh, your opponent adds one of their assets to their momentum. Or Desperation, First Enhance, Remove. If your opponent has a momentum, um, reduces attack's damage to zero. So it might just be like, hey, uh, I'm at Desperation. Uh, don't don't kill me. Um, m might just be worth saving. Up next, um, so he wanted to play United the Cosmos as like one of the main defensive pieces, and that's what we're getting into now. Is the next section of the deck is just defense of response, discard pile, remove after you check this card to play a block. Your check uh, is successful, and that attack deals zero damage. And so, what this does is it just kind of accidentally. Uh, lets you survive. Not a very good plan, but it is what he was included in the deck. And so I gotta, I gotta toss it in here. This could be pretty much any other card. Um, for wear lights, this says that uh, my opponent has to stop playing enhances. I pick one of the things that, uh, pick one of my opponent's cards that has an enhance, either that is committed that they can't use, or uh, a gate, a cost that they can't pay, and then say you have to, you have to play that one or pass, and then they pass, and then you pass, and you just go right the blocks. It's kind of how the same thing that mutual respect works of um, enhanced discard of momentum. Uh, both players can only play one more enhanced step this enhance. Uh, only one more enhanced this enhanced step. Easy enough. We're playing a Double Journey West. Uh, we've got 33 life, and so not blocking things is okay. Um, but we do want to block things. But whenever we don't want to, or maybe even we can't block things, whenever we take and body something, it says enhance flip. My next, Their next one is plus difficulty. Playing double rhythmic fighting style. This card uh, just makes sure that we don't get comboed and looped whenever we get to our, our full blocks. We're playing double proud nose. Uh, we're playing four one checks in the deck, and as soon as we find a momentum, uh, we don't just auto lose when we check a one. <laughs> We're playing three future poolside date. This card's really, really good at keeping us alive because we discard a card for minus three speed, or when it's on top of our discard pile, we get to gain two vitality on every attack. Playing double explosive acrobatics. We remove a disc uh, a foundation from our discard pile just to make blocking a little bit easier. This combined with future pools date is really, really strong. Um the the reason it's really, really strong is I've got a future pool side date on top of my discard pile. I take and I I block and I check whatever card. This is now on top. I explosive acrobatics on my opponent's next attack. Remove the top card. Explosive uh, future pulls Isaiah's back. I'll gain my two back. Um, just a really, really sweet two card combo. Clear all this back up. Playing two an evening with grin in order to pick up whatever we need, whether it be uh, uh, whether it be um. A future poolside date or the card that we're actually going to be picking up three out of your league out of your league just says that um, if they would respond with anything normally response is the way that you cancel things paid three life stop that response after opponent plays the responsibility cancel its effects easy pick it up I want to make sure my distraction detection happens you're not going to revoke me I'll pay three life and I'll still win the game playing for pure of heart this card is just really good spam one of the issues that this deck can have is uh building not quite enough spam because we are playing four ones and four twos and so playing these in order to make sure that i get to build enough foundations to play the game is, is super important and then the last bit we've got a uh, psycha and Celia. um this gives me a momentum so that i can safely play my tangu dives and make sure that i uh, get to get to check them correctly all right, so that was Jeff's Jackie Briggs deck, kind of a, a bit of a meme deck, but really, really rad. A good use of um, the the tech attack lineup and good use of being able to cycle and see a bunch of extra cards. If you like this deck, make sure that you let Jeff know down in the comments down below when you check out all the matches that he played in in the Twitch Picks Campus Championship. There's a playlist here on the channel. And if you want to support us, Go out to patreon.com slash TCG University, subscribe out there for at least the $1 level, and uh, jump on our Discord where we can have an entire full conversations about how rad Jackie Briggs is. So, from all of us here at TCGU, thank you very much for watching, and stay learned.